Hello. Hello. Is uh, Mariah there, please? <laughs> Even if she was, I would not be putting her on the line. <laughs> Jay, buddy, I got to tell you, last night and yesterday was absolutely perfect once again. Uh, it was it was fun and emotional. There's a lot of things that that, that we go through. Uh, th- that's for us on that on that singular day. For you, it is a year of incredible hard work. But when you see it pay off like that, Jay, I'm just curious. Do we more or less have a total on what was raised yesterday? Yeah, so last year in our first year, we did uh, 81000 We were able to raise 81000 and I just got the uh, numbers about an hour ago as they were counting uh, all night long, and we were able to raise 121000 wow. last uh, yesterday. Outstanding. That is Outstanding. unbelievable, Jay. That is, uh, mm-hmm. boy, I'll tell you. And, and you know what? Everyone had a fabulous time. The people there are, the, the, are, are amazing. But what I think is interesting, since you've started this and we've known each other now just about a year and a half, I would say, that you can see that a lot of people are kind of jumping on this train. The number of people who have joined of significance, uh, Epilepsy Canada as a whole, uh, there was two or three of those guys last night. It's, it seems like the word is getting out there and people want to help out. And for you, that's got to mean a lot. Oh, absolutely. I mean, the sponsors that we have had from... Uh from year one into year two has been phenomenal and we're hoping that we will get even more next year uh the support from all of our donors year after year and uh, amazing people such as yourselves helping to uh push the event the importance of of getting research to find a cure and being there uh being here with us uh really to MC the night and and be able to talk to your entire audience and and let them know how important this is for us to find a cure for this this dreaded uh, disorder. Yeah, absolutely, Jay. Uh, and, and thank you again for the invite. Uh, we will say yes uh, for as long as you keep asking. And, uh, you know, I, I, I know that... You know the fight continues even on this Wednesday for you, but you you uh, from the golf standpoint, I guess there's probably some relief in, in, in on your shoulders considering that you don't have to necessarily worry about the golf tournament right now, and you it takes the pressure off. But you know day to day, the fight continues, doesn't it? Absolutely, we we still have not been able to uh, control my son's seizures. So the, the fight goes on day to day and we live with it each and every day and each and every night, but, uh, I will not stop, uh, pushing until we find that cure. I might take a week off. I might take two weeks off, but no more than that. And it's right back at the grind, you know, speaking to sponsors, telling the, telling them the progress that we are making with the, the hard earned money that they are bringing to our event and, and just keep on pushing and pushing and pushing until we can find that cure. It is, so important there are so many canadians that that live with us um including my son and and we just have to find a cure well jay the reality is you don't get to take a break or some time off because aiden doesn't get a break or time off from epilepsy and th- and that's the reality of it i mean uh, exactly you know, it's it's uh, it's but it was wonderful seeing him yesterday and uh and the family your mom your aunt i mean it was it was i, I truly i mean I, we loved last year but but this year was just spectacular uh, absolutely, and and thank you guys again. It was it was really wonderful having you there. It was, you know, I really wanted to get Aiden out to the the first year, but he was he was still too little, and uh, I was still even very hesitant to get him out there. But I thought it was really important for for everybody to get uh, the opportunity to see him and and meet him and and uh, meet my family and the extended family because it just goes to all of the hard work and dedication that everybody is putting forward uh, to this cause to to help us to get to that point. Now, uh, next year is, is also at Hockley Valley, is it not? Have we decided? 100%. Okay, great. 100%. Boy, I'll tell you that, that, that place is just, I mean, it's two years in a row, and it just is such a beautiful day. We had such a wonderful time. Uh, unfortunately, uh, Team Richards, Team Coach Frank, Team Yard Dog, and Team Dave Bastel, we lost by one stroke to four pros. Apparently, those guys were four pros that, mm-hmm. that got together. We lost by one stroke. Yeah, yeah. There was actually a team of uh, people at like Golf Town, one of our one of our good sponsors this year, and we're hoping uh, to see more from them next year. But uh, yeah, you guys put in a really good effort. No, yeah, no, yeah, no. Very, they proud, very proud of you. Yeah, <laughs> they don't need to be in it. I mean, they can help out, but they just don't need to be in it next year. I don't. Yeah, think. I, yeah. I was going to say, yeah. if the golf town really wants to help out, maybe <laughs> they should buy two teams and, and have two pros on both teams with uh, two uh, customers uh, off the yeah, street that they we get, get to pick. Yeah, they can take Yard Dog. <laughs> they got to play with Yard Dog. We did. 
Absolutely, boys. I'll see what I can do for next year. Well, congratulations. I, I realize it's got to be a huge relief, as Dave just said, uh, because there is so much work that goes into it. Uh, but the reality is it's so worthwhile. It is a fight that will continue. I know you're certainly never going to stop. And and uh, as I said, we are just uh, flattered that, that we're a part of this. But you know anything you need, buddy, you get it from us. Yeah, absolutely. And we're going to have you guys back uh, next year. The work starts now. We're actually with the team. We're still up here at the resort. We're actually in a meeting right now, uh, debriefing from uh, yesterday's event and how we're going to move forward to next year. So thank you guys so much for all of your support. It's been amazing. Thanks, Jay. You take care. We'll talk to you soon. Sounds good. Take care, boys. That is uh, Jay Barker. He is the, I guess, what would say the... The word I want to say. Uh, the uh, czar. The czar. Uh, the czar. <laughs> the czar of Aiden's world. <laughs> now he's he's everything. Like I I, I joked to him last night, uh, and I said, uh, you know what? Huge congratulations to you and your minions. <laughs> and it's like, and it's not meaning anything. You know, uh, that's what I say about my family, me and my minions. You know, it's it's it honestly is. It, it takes a village, but it also needs a leader. And Jay Barker is an outstanding leader, easy to talk to, friendly as hell. Um, he probably shook all 200 people's hands in that room oh, yeah. yesterday. Oh, yeah. Uh, he's obviously getting more media savvy, too, since we've met him. Uh, and, and, and you know what? Year three is going to be better than two, just like two was better than one. And I think realistically... You know, is is one hundred and fifty thousand dollars out of the question next year? I know it's a lofty goal, and you keep on going up. But oh, I think they'll get. It. I, I wouldn't put it by them. They might. I, I wouldn't put it by them. You know, a lot of lot of our uh, listeners and uh, and viewers of uh, Raw Mike Richards and those who've been part of the Richards Army said, "Well, we, I mean, next year we want to help out. We want to do something. So you just never know what you can come up with uh, based on this tournament. And it doesn't necessarily is like just playing golf. There's other ways to uh, to." Essentially, just donate the money if you want. So I think they'll do better. Now, have we shown the picture of that that foursome yesterday? Because uh, that was quite a group there. There's, of course, myself and Dave. That is Yard Dog, who is kind of hiding in the background. Yep. Uh, he was shamed by his own golf yep. uh, techniques. Uh, and should be. It's funny because because right beside each other on the left hand side you have the best golfer of the group, Coach Frank. Coach Frank, and, Coach and, Frank was unbelievable, and the worst golfer out of the group, yeah. uh, Yard Dog. Yes, I believe he was the worst golfer ever in the world. In the world, yeah. yes, I think that's fair. I, I heard uh, this morning that the Royal <laughs> Ancient and the uh, uh, the uh, PGA are now canceling the sport. So no one has to ever see that again. <laughs> but honestly, great, great playing uh, partners, and that's what it's all about. Yeah, Coach Frank was outstanding. Uh, you know, he's a close friend of ours, and Yard Dog has been <clears throat> in our camp since the moment Dave and I uh, started doing shows. So, uh, and and the cigars he had, oh my God, they were so good. Oh my <laughs> God, they were really, really good. So we had a great day, and uh, we'll certainly uh, tweet that out as well today. But thanks very much, fellas, for joining us. We appreciate it. Friends. Yep.